What's up, everybody? What's the rules? One on one here, and I'm back with some payday. Now, I told you there's two ways I get my XP: Ukrainian job and rats. Now, I'm just doing a regular rats. I couldn't find an overkill one, but that's fine. I'll just do a regular one to show you how I do it. Now, if you want to do it my, you could do this. You can do this my way. But basically, you gotta just speed through it, and then at the end. If you don't play on a pro job, you can do this if you really want to. It's your choice. But in the first one, don't even go with much because you're not going to be there long. I'm going to show you what to do. So here we go. Math lab, yeah, whatever. Okay, so sometimes there's a guy right there, so just watch for that. There's more people over there, so I try not to take that route. I go up here. You see, they killed them in there, and then boom, shoot that guy in his face, crouch, and they're not there. And um, now you need to find the three items. You can only grab like one or two if you really have to. Oh, die. Uh, hydrogen chloride. Muriatic acid. See, told you, they're like all in the bathroom, really. If not, then there's someone... Now you gotta wait for Bane to tell you what to put in, and then you're gonna do exactly what I do. Sometimes he takes a minute or so, sometimes he does it immediately. I just break these for the hell of it. But my loadout, it's the locomotive and the, uh, I forget the name of the right, the rifle-like thing, I don't know. Just deploying trip mines because that's how I roll. acid so I'm putting in caustic soda the wrong item and then just run if you stay there you're gonna get knocked down and then just run and because this is the console version they didn't add the part where you, the, you have to wait for the escape van so you're right in there and boom you're done do exactly that on the first day now you're gonna probably have an escape now, hopefully it's the garage escape. I like the garage escape best because it's the easiest freaking escape. The overpass escape I really don't like because you just have to boom, wait. But in the, but in the uh, parking lot one, you just have to go to the van. Easy. And you only run into like two doors to have, you have to get through. And if you have C4, it's like, like that or expert lock picking. Oh, no. There wasn't a car chase, that's nice. So now, for the second day, I suggest having expert lock picking to lock pick the safes, or have C4. If you don't have either of those, just alert the Mendozas, and then wait a few minutes, and then go look for the I, the uh, info, and it will be burned. Or in this, probably the same amount of time, you can just, um, just go drill into the info. It's your choice. Either way. But you might have a car chase then, so... Um... I'm gonna first go into here and look, because I don't want to get stuck in here when the cops show up. These guys have overpowered assault, uh, like... Light mach... I don't know, they're like SMGs, but you take so much damage, so try not to get shot by them. See, there's no one in here. There's one guy. And the safe's not in here. See, that's why I like to come in here first. Because then the cops aren't here and you can get out quickly. I like the other two buildings because you can go to either or if you're in the one room with the plank. Because it's a lot simpler. Just take that route and then right here into this building. Now, usually the Mendozas are all piled into the room with this info, so... I should probably add these uh, ammo just so. Holy, this is loud. Hello. Hi, how's it going? You hiding behind the door? You see there's boards here? 
Now the safe's not in here. I wonder if there. So there's a room down here. No, it's the other building. So the safes are obviously in this building, and they burn the intelligence. That's unfortunate, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. Really. Oh, see? Look how much damage I just took from, like, one, two bullets. Uh, I can't go that way. Like, it's insane how much damage you take. Luckily, I, I got lucky there. I don't know where I'm going. And, yeah. This audio is really freaking loud. I turned down the audio anyway in the editing so that you guys can hear my voice, but it is loud right now. That I like literally jumped when that guy shot me because I wasn't expecting to hear a loud gunshot in my ear. But yeah, I'm still level 60. It takes a lot to upgrade these days, but you only get 400 XP. You get more, of course, if you play on Overkill, which I suggest you do this on. Because it's not that hard. It's really fairly easy if you do the right thing and don't make some mistakes. Now the third day. Now I have a sentry gun. I usually take that with me just cause. But I usually take a spraying like weapon. Like the uh, like I have. I usually take one of these because okay. Do ex now you, there's two ways you can do that. You can take like a sniper like rifle, stand on one of the cars and just shoot the Mendozas, or you can do what I do. Run this way. Run here. There's sometimes a cop that spawns, so just be aware of that. And then here's what I do. Drop a sentry gun. And it deals with the cops. And then I just run in here. Spray these Mendozas. You can grab a case if you want to. Like I'm gonna. And... Now, if you're playing the single player, single player, uh, just take one money bag, unless you're waiting for the helicopter, which I highly doubt you don't, because you need to be carrying the bag for you to get the bag loot items, so if there's only one person, there's no point taking more than one bag, because you won't get the loot, unless you wait for the copter. So you just come in here. Now, I usually don't take a bag, because, you know, you get a good amount of money from this anyway, so... That's all I, that's basically what I do. And then, the XP is really good if you play this on Overkill, but it's probably eh. See, only like freaking 3,000. Sucky. Payday. Now, this is the important part. Now, if you're playing this on pro job, it won't work. But if you're playing this non-pro job, this is what you do. Instead of continuing to menu, press start, restart the game. Now this must be, this is like exploiting. I don't use this a lot. The only time I use this is when I really wanted to get to level 60 quickly. So, yeah, to get my, and I'm going to take a light, I'm going to take a lightweight vest since it's on easy so I can move quicker. And then it takes you back to the last mission. Now you're probably wondering, do, does it still take your X? Do you still get your XP? Answer is yes. You still get all your XP. Basically. Holy, where am I taking hurt from? Who's hitting me? Oh, there's a little gap in there. Gosh. Deal with them. Spray these Mendozas. And then just run. So I showed you how to do it with money and how not to do it. It's quicker just to do this, and you could do this in under 55 seconds. Watch. Maybe even 52. Yep, 52 seconds flat. Easy. It takes like maybe 30 seconds if you just... Actually, it takes about 25 seconds if you just stand on one of the cars and just snipe them all. Depending on how good of an aim you are and then you get all your XP see 
if you looked, my next level was the same after last time, so now it's going up again. Payday. And you just rinse and repeat. You just keep restarting if it's not a pro job. That's how to uh, farm rats for XP. Now you can do that, or... I'm going to continue the menu. Now you can do that, or you can do the original way and play on pro job highest difficulty and do that, and then you get a whole bunch of XP. Or you can play on non-pro job highest level and just keep restarting the game and getting more. As you can see, I put on my older mask, actually. Decide to wear this one again, go back to my roots. I don't have any more masks, but all my equipment, my skills are obviously the same. You know, haven't really changed. Um, I'm going up to Inspire. So, from now on, I'm going to work up my Mastermind tree. Um, I'm going to get... I think I'm going to ace out this and ace out this. No, wait. No, nah, not ace out that. Just ace out this. Because... Oh, wait. Then I need to spend one more. I'll spend it in this. Inside man. I might even ace that out for the inside man asset. Then ace out this. Probably ace out that. Get gunslinger. And then inspire. Really. And if I have any skill points left, I might go a little bit up in the enforcer tree. Or I might go a little bit up into the, uh... Um, ghost tree. Not too sure on that yet. Might get a uh, silent killer just so that if I'm doing the stealth thing with my silence pistol or silence like M16. Then. But I'm just gonna show you what my guns look like. Uh, attachments. If you need to pause the video, do that. That's it for that one. I have two of those in stock. I have nothing for that. And then this, I've got the long barrel and then the fire breather in there. And then secondary is the same. I I think the only attachment I have for this is this and then the shell rack. Because I had an extra shell rack. You know, might as well. I think... Uh, does anyone give, like, does this, none of these really give anything important. Like, mobility, sure, you know, but, and that's less visibility. But I'm more about the accuracy and the damage. Damage that I can do more damage accuracy so that I don't completely miss them. Because I'm not the guy who has the best accuracy in the world, so, yeah. And then got the Broncos. Basically, these are all the same if you saw my last video. Nothing's changed. But yeah, before I ramble on like last video and it, I, that is how you speed run rats and farm rats if you're doing the uh, other way as well. But that's it for this. Like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Buster Rules 101, signing out. <laughs>